Ah, uh, that's not quite right, but it's... There's still a bit of code to write in the other form, but let's just keep going. Uh, so, if you select the first one, crosshair choice uh, equals zero. Um, highlighter, picture box dot, um, uh, location. So hopefully you use the exact same numbers I used on my location. Uh, new point. So from now on, I may explain things a tiny bit less. I'm just trying to rush this because it gets to a point where I'm just wasting you guys' time and I don't like doing that. So I'm going to try and rush it a little bit, but still explain the more difficult stuff if I can hopefully do that. Update crosshair. So uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that seems fine to me. So we've got that one there. We've got those points. Let's make sure those points are right in a minute. Just to confirm that. So put all these here. So we got the different crosshairs, etc. And obviously we've got different crosses, which means different numbers. So uh, the second one is 86. So that is crosshair, cross crosshair button. Uh, I believe I'm just going to confirm this here. Um, and that's that one, yeah, cross crosshair. So the second one is um, 86 by 165. So 86 by 165. It's always 165, so the rest will change. Uh, the next one's 148. Then the next one is um, 211. The one after that is 274, hopefully. And the one after that is 274, 335, 335. And the last one is a little bit away, which I'm going to try and find it. So circle dot, which is at 394. 94. Um, yeah, so hopefully these will work when we test them. I'm not going to test them yet, but um, if there's a problem with them, we'll fix them. Um, I don't think I've missed anything else. So I've got all those updating uh, run crosshairs right in places. We've done the update crosshair. We've done our default initialized colors. Yeah, I believe that's it for this one. For this function, I believe we're complete. So we're going to go on our form now. We need to do a set of things which are incredibly essential to this. So on our over overlay form, I can't get word out. All right, so these are some things we're going to have to do. So right click properties. Just might as well lock that on because these are very important things actually don't lock it on because it looks weird all right so you want to go um, form you need to do things exactly these this way otherwise it won't work so form board uh, form border style you have to go for none okay get rid of the border style back color you want to go for um, what I believe is black so that's that one and then we've got um, show icon which should be at the bottom I think yeah so show icon make that false showing taskbar also false and uh, topmost uh, where's topmost yeah topmost equals true and window state let's look for window state yeah there you go window state equals maximized alright so it starts maximized and that's what we're doing we this is our overlay so think of it as a transparent thing on our screen it takes over our whole screen and then we draw anything we want on it and that's how we we kind of cheat into our game. So we trick, uh, well, we trick ourselves into seeing that. That's why we need to have this in windowed mode. So I believe that was everything we needed for this. Um, hopefully, I haven't got any, anything wrong here. Now, at this point, you should have. Um, so I'm just going to double click on this. At this point, you should have a. Just going to go here quickly. You should have your DirectX completely downloaded because you're going to need it right now. Um, so we're going to go here, I'm going to go form 1, which is my thing here. So I'm just going to look at my source code. Alright, so first thing you want to do is you want to go here uh, and go project, add reference, because you need to add references to your project here. And we're going to go um, browse, and I'll take you to where mine are usually at. Um, so you want to go, hopefully just keep going back, uh, keep going back, uh, program uh, my computer. So let's give ourselves a bit more space here to work with. So local disk. So wherever you install DirectX is where this should be. So program files where mine is. And I'm going to look for Microsoft, which is the M. And as I said, you can use either of these. The one I tested on mine, I think it was June or something. But it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try either. So I'm going to go with June on mine. And you want to go dev uh, developer runtime times 86. And you want to go DirectX for my managed code. And you want to select Microsoft.Direct. Uh, Direct 3D uh, and where's DirectX? Microsoft DirectX dot Direct 3D and uh, there's another one. There should be another one here. DirectX. So I'm just gonna have a quick check on my other one. Add reference. Uh, recent uh, Microsoft Direct 3D. 
Yeah, there should be just a simple direct text dot DLL. Where the hell is that? Oh, there it is. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe. I was getting worried there for a second that I didn't have this for you guys. So select both of those and just press OK. Because we need to add them to our project. Otherwise, we can't use DirectX. Now we go using Microsoft oops, dot um, DirectX, which is one of them. And the other one we, no we need to do is using Microsoft dot DirectX. And like I said to you earlier, this was um, discontinued. So they're not using this anymore. So you can't expect any more updates for this, anything like that. I haven't been able to do things like... Um, write text with it which sucks but um, you are still still able to draw almost anything you like uh, because you can do quite a lot of things and in case you didn't know this is what they had before they created XNA so they discontinued this and then they started working with X XNA so that's why they did that um, so one another thing that I want to do is right click here go on events here the thunder and you want to go for a paint event so double click that that is essential so this this is all um, the recruit guys um, ideas uh, that's how he got this method to work because you need to work with the pain event and etc so so the pain event needs this so March uh, oops I know you guys like the old zoomy zoom uh, Marge uh, dot left what is this hang on I think I may have margins oh you need to declare some stuff let's declare our globals first and then we'll come back to work with this um, so I'm just wondering this I may have forgotten something I don't think I have though All right, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So let's create our globals here. Um, overlay. Yeah, so let's create our globals first, and then we'll come back to this. So globals are going to be, I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit, uh, public, actually declare them. Yeah, that's fine. So string window name. OK. Uh, then we have int cross set choice. Choice. Then we have uh, color. Which is gonna, yeah, there you go, that's fine. Uh, crosshair color, color. Then we have bool, stop thread, which is the thing we declared earlier, in case you don't remember, thread. Um, then we have public bool, which is something we're gonna access from outside, thread over. Uh, I'm gonna call this a capital T just because um, I think it's more convenient. Int scale, which is gonna be for our size, so we'll call it. Um, Call it size, I think it's more relevant. Um, and then we have our constructor, and that's what we're going to have to modify so we can get rid of our errors from earlier. So you need a string, um, window name, window name, because we need to know what window to put our crosshair on, int crosshair choice, and then we have uh, color, which are crosshair color, crosshair color, and then we have finally our int size. Alright, so Let's just declare some of these. So, um, so certain things will have to be done in a specific way here uh, because so size. There you go. That's the one. Equals size. Then we have thread over equals false. Just initializing there. Stop thread equals false. Window name window name make sure they're not the exact same thing you write in there um, crosshair choice equals crosshair choice blah 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 and then crosshair color oops that's the wrong way around I think is that right crosshair color and that should be alright there so I'm gonna get rid of this as well so stuck that um, and then the final thing that we need to do here just after initialize components called setup direct x and that's a function we're going to create now so it's not there yet so void uh, setup direct x so these are once again recruits code word by word because you need this for your overlay if you don't have it your direct x won't work you can forget about it so set window long which is something we haven't declared yet so we're going to need to create our overlay actually first so we're going to go here just before we do this, um, I'm just gonna do this here. So just before we do this, I'm gonna take a quick pause. Okay, so I was just checking my fraps there and um, just making sure that I don't, I still have some um, good old um, 
hard drive space. So just before the setup directex, like I was saying, we're gonna create here, we're gonna go region. So apparently this tutorial has gone on for over an hour. This is way above what I wanted it to go on, so I'm really gonna have to hurry up here. Um, so if you're still with me, um, thanks for that, I guess. Um, so region overlay, and this is gonna be a lot of uh, DLL imports, and that apparently is gonna require us to use the interop services, I think. So using system, is it system? Yeah, dot runtime, dot interrupt services, and that's why we need for our DLL imports. Let's use win using system dot threading as well, which is always useful, and I believe that is all we need for that. Um, yeah, so let's go into our overlay here. We only doing this in a region, so it's easy to close because once we've done it once, we don't care about it at all anymore. So private margins, is it margins? Is that what I call it? Margins. Yeah. Why isn't that working? What's that part of? Uh, margins is part of threading forms text system dot text. Uh, what is this part of margins? Uh, external no, 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 form margins struct. Oh, it's a struct that we need to declare. Idiot. So private margins. Um, yeah, merge. Just say merge. That's fine. Just leave that. It's gonna give you an error for now. So then you go internal struct margin. So that's our struct right there. Uh, public int left right uh, top and bottom that's what we need for that and then we're gonna go struct layout struct layout um, open that there layout sequential layout kind dot sequential uh, nah, 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 nah. Close that there, and that's fine there. So public struct uh, rect, which is our rectangle. So once again, public int, and funnily enough, this is exactly the same as that one, but we do this one with uh, small font, uh, small letters, L R T B. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And now we're going to need our DLL imports, which is something I really should have given you the um, the code for, but all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, you just got. Uh, you should have a DLL import bunch of code on your, on your files required as well, which I'll write down quickly so I don't forget to add it. So files required, required. Just so we don't have to type all this because this is just boring typing now. DLL import. So now, uh, just go into your files required folder and you should have, like I said, DLL import and just copy that. So. Um, so that should complete the rest of our region. So once you've got that, um, just copy that onto there. And this is only for saving time, guys. So get get the rest of the code from your DLL import, and you should have your whole um, overlay set out. So just copy that, paste it, and you should have private device as well, which is going to be our Direct3 device. And then you can close your overlay there. So don't worry about that anymore. Just go to your, um, well, I'll call it overlay.text. Um, overlay.text. Overlay dot text and then just copy the, the, the code from that onto this so now we can get on with the actual code without doing the boring crap um, alright so private setup di uh, DX so set window long now we can use all those uh, functions there uh, set window long and then we're going to go this dot handle and then we'll go GWX GWL I mean X tile in pointer open that get window long this dot handle uh, once again GW uh, hex style close that do a little thingy here WS X layered and then once again if you're actually wondering what this does I haven't got the slightest idea by the way guys this is uh, part of the old overlay thing um, set um, layered the part that I care about is playing with the drawing once we've got a drawing scenery set up we work with it. So this dot handle um, comma zero comma uh, two fifty five comma lw alpha. So I believe what this is doing here is uh, coloring our our. Um, oops, let me just do this quickly. Um, coloring our window uh, into um, transparent so we can draw all over it. So once again, we've we've got once we got that. So present parameters present. Param 
equals new present parameters, blah blah, blah. do that, and then we've got um, present, oops, present 